What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Deep South Fishing. Today, we have a tournament video. Um, we ended up finishing out second place in a uh, club tournament. Um, we ended up weighing 10, 13. Uh, so we had a good bag, almost 11 pounds. Uh, had a little bit of trolling motor trouble uh, with the foot pedal. I had a foot pedal go out on me, so I ended up having to use the uh, power poles and the remote all day, and uh, we still managed to catch a good bag of fish and uh, did real good. So one thing I want to say about my foot pedal going out was um, I called Garmin on Monday. Uh, Monday afternoon, I called Garmin, and I talked to a real nice fellow over there, and they had a new foot pedal on my doorstep uh, Tuesday morning. That's quite impressive, y'all. So, um, yeah, I was a little upset that that happened, but I was also at the same time very thrilled to hear and see uh, how Garmin takes care of their customers. And I thought that was very impressive. So um, hats off to them and, and thanks for taking care of us. So a little bit about our day. Um, the tournament was actually out of Duran's Landing. Uh, love fishing out of there all the time. It was a little club tournament, Tri-Parish Bassmasters. Uh, my buddy Coy, shout out to him. He's the one that runs the club. Um, great group of guys, love fishing with them. And uh, we, we was able to fish either side. I chose to fish the lake side um, and, and fish around that grassy lake, Pallor, Verret side. And um, we ended up having a good day. Um, word on the street is though, is that the, the spawn's over. Um, I, I don't believe that guys. I, I, I think there's still fish spawning right now. Um, if you've seen my video, the uh, Amelia Beatdown video, um, that was the end of February. And those fish were definitely doing it then. Um, they pulled off. <clears throat> March, they had a wave come up. And now we're in April. And we're seeing that other wave. And um, there, there's more male bass up shallow right now. Uh, garden nest. And there are female bass. But there are some good females. One thing I do want to say, though, if that's what you're going to target, particularly for a tournament, just trying to find big fish and get those key bites, you got to understand that they are in certain areas. So when you run across one, typically you'll come across others. And these fish are very educated. They're not the easiest fish to catch. The trolling motor foot pedal was probably a blessing in disguise because it forced me to slow down. I was making two, three, four pitches on the same cypress tree. And sometimes, or, or most of the time, what I noticed was is that I wasn't getting bit until that second or third time I was throwing up on that tree. So if you're going to target those big female fish, slow down a whole lot. Slow down. Flip multiple times at the same place as if you think that there is a fish there and you you're gonna do well you're gonna do better um they're they're not everywhere um you do have to fish around to find where those those big females still are because like i said there's there's little pockets you know you know, you get around one and then you'll, you'll hit a little a little um dead end or or a, a stretch where you'll you'll catch multiple ones um I didn't find a whole lot of places like that, but the ones I did find had very nice fish, as, as you'll see in the video. Lastly, guys, we have a coupon code. The coupon code is DeepSouth10, where you can go to ditchpicklebaits.com and go buy you some baits, and you can use that coupon code and get 10% off. I'll put the uh, coupon code down below, also with a description and a link to Ditch Pickle Baits' website. Y'all go check them out and make sure to use that coupon. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. Um, here soon, we're actually going to be doing a two-part series. It's going to be like the uh, Ten Commandments of Bass Fishing. Hopefully, give y'all guys some tips. I've seen some of the people saying they like more of the informational side, so we're going to start dropping and working some of that content in along with the fishing stuff. So uh, go ahead, let us know what you think about the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.
Number one.
Woo!